Hey guys and welcome back to Style by McKenz. Today I'm going to be doing a different type of video than anything I've ever done on my channel and I am so excited. I am teaming up with the prom designer Mac Douglas today to share two different dresses with you. One of them is a designer gown from their website and another one was purchased off of a Chinese counterfeit website. Um, that knocks off dresses obviously from top designers so I am so excited about this video guys you have no idea it's something super different like I said than anything I've ever done first I'm going to kind of share the dress from Mac Duggle and how awesome it is and then I'm also going to go into depth and review um, the Chinese gown as well in today's video I am NOT going to be trying on either of the dresses just because I want you guys to make sure to check out my blog post on stylebymckenz.com that way you guys can really really see the fit of them and again I will type up my review there you will have more information on my sizing um, and all that jazz over on the blog so I want to make sure that you guys are checking out both of those I have so many exciting prom collabs lined up that I think you guys are really going to enjoy so without further ado let's Hop right in to reviewing each gown and talking about how to avoid a counterfeit dress so I do have my computer behind me just because I do want to make sure that I touch on all the points that um, I have in mind and I want to read you guys the size so this is the dress that they sent over this is very different than any style that I would pick out myself but it's really really gorgeous the sequins on it I'm just going to let you guys kind of look at the gown first it is a high neck and it's got a key hole right on the um, chest of it the bottom scoops down just a bit and again it's just a gown it does have a slit and it is pretty high for a slit especially on me I'll go into my sizing in a second um, and then the back of the gown just looks like this it's got um, a really really deep back that leaves most of it exposed and this material is pretty much just lying there and um, you'll see the train if you check out the blog post. I will try and insert a picture here, but I really want you guys to check out the blog post too because there's lots of information in it as well. So this gown is from the Cassandra Stone collection, and this is number, this is the style 3434A and this is the gold. So right off the bat, um, like I said, this is that designer gown. This is more of a rose gold. You can tell in the light it does reflect more rose gold than gold, but I love the sequins. It literally catches the light so beautifully. When I was shooting this, Madison was like, wow, that looks so cool. Um, so again, this is a really different style than anything I would ever wear, but again, it was a beautiful dress on. Let's go over sizing a little bit. So I've mentioned my measurements before, but I am 5'2", about 105 pounds. I'm a very like stickish figure. Um, I'm not really curvy. I don't have a huge chest. And I sent over my measurements and I got a size zero in this dress. This dress is a little bit big on me just because I don't necessarily have the chest to fill it out. If I wear a sticky bra with it, it solves the problem completely. But I do just want to put that out there that if you have a smaller chest, you may want to consider sizing down just because the back of it is completely open. So it's not, you're not filling it out the way you would a normal gown. The quality of this dress is impeccable, guys. I cannot even explain the quality of a designer gown. The stitching is really, really nice. You guys can see here um, just how beautifully it's done. The sequins do, I want to mention, like a couple of them will start to fall off. And I've had that with any sequin gown that I've ever tried on. Even in the store when you go to try on prom dresses, a few of the sequins will start to come out. Just because you are moving in it and it is dragging across the floor. They did provide a bag of sequins. That way, if there is a noticeable spot, um, you can sew them back in. Obviously, you can't tell because there are so many if one or two were to fall out. But if you were to, for some reason, have a mishap where you like caught a thread and a bunch of them unraveled, they do give you some in a little bag. That way, you could replace it. The, like I said, the quality of this is really, really nice. You can see the train of it has... Um, like there's like a mesh lining right here it's so beautiful guys I can't even with the sequins I'm a sequins lover so I really really enjoy this dress now I am going to bring my computer closer so you guys can see what this gown looks like online it looks exactly like the picture and this dress does come in three colors like I said I have it in the gold so I'm just going to kind of 
let you guys look at the three pictures and then of course you can check out my blog post to see how similar the dress actually looks on this is the back of the gown and this is close up so I want you guys to take a closer look at this um, close up of the chest part the bodice just because that is what is so terrible about the counterfeit dress that's where I saw like the biggest problem and the issue with that dress so take this dress in I will insert a couple pictures so you can see and now we're gonna go talk about the counterfeit okay so next up we have this hideous dress guys I can't even explain how ugly I think this dress is um, and it is supposed to be a knockoff of the sequin dress that I just shared from their actual site and I love that dress. I think that that dress is really beautiful although not my style. I felt really pretty in it and this dress literally looked like a paper bag on me. I can't even explain. So um, this was purchased off of an eBay website like an eBay seller. eBay knocks off plenty of dresses and a lot of Chinese um, retailers will do that and they will literally scam you. I'm going to go into detail in my blog post on all the ways to avoid avoid that oftentimes if there's like 20 plus colors you'll it'll say pink and then it comes in like neon pink or hot pink and all the different ways that they're really scamming you yeah you may be paying nothing for the dress but you're getting nothing in return mac douglas dresses aren't going to be selling for 50 dollars on ebay like unless someone's selling it because they wore it once and want to do, get rid of it and then it would be a normal seller not a Chinese like seller that's trying to scam you so and oftentimes people's dresses don't even come in the mail so I don't have a link for to this exact dress simply because they don't even sell it anymore I don't think um, but you don't want to buy this dress anyways trust me you want to buy the real one so let's take a closer look right off the bat you can tell that this dress is extremely different from the other one they Yes, they have the same style, but they look almost nothing alike when we really get down to business. First of all, this dress is gold, not rose gold in the sense that the other one, I know the other one is called gold on the website, but it does have more pink hues to it when it reflects in the light, and this one does not. And part of that is because of the sequined work, whereas the other one are actual sequins that, and they come in a bag, you know, like where you could replace a sequin. These are like sequin netting. I want this to focus so you can see. This is like a sequined netting, I don't even know how to describe this material, but it feels so cheap. Like, you can like hear, like that sound, Oh, guys, like I do not like this, okay? And so again, it is gold, it does have the same keyhole, but this is sewn so poorly that it really, like when I put this on, it shifts over to one boob and not the other. Like it does not sit centered in my chest. It like awkwardly shifts to one side, like favoring one side of the chest. So I can tell right right away that something is off. You can see in the lining that it's completely stitched unevenly and there are already like so many threads coming out. Like you can see I just went like that to to look at it and it pulled out an entire like row of sequins and thread. It is so different in the sense that it gives you these tacky huge beads on it guys like these are the cheapest looking beads they look like something that you'd get from a Michaels craft store and the padding of this is much different than the other one this padding you can tell when you get um, cheap padding and when you get like a designer padding because the cups of this do not mold to your actual boob which is probably why the chest fits so differently in this one from the other dress this like kind of just like sits on top and it's like so structured I can't even explain it like doesn't even bend right there because we have the chunky sequin I mean the chunky beading on the front so it also like has a pattern of beads whereas the other dress does not I'm adding so, another clip in so that you can really see the difference in color next to one another whereas this is the true gold from MacDougall's website this is the gold that the Chinese website gave and you can see next to each other the difference in sequins these are like clearly hand stitched on there whereas this is like a sequined fabric that they just have sewn together very poorly. There is still a slit but it is definitely not as high. You guys will see in the picture as well like it looks completely different. And
the back is nothing like the actual um, Mac Double dress that they're knocking off. This part actually like comes up, whereas the other dress, it's just an extra layer of fabric that's laying over it. Um, so I don't really know what this is. It's very confusing to get into. You basically have to like put your body in here and then work it over your head while this just hangs there. And it's like super unflattering the way that it lays, at least on my body. I don't know if this would be as terrible of a dress for someone else, but for me, this was a complete no-go. And the big problem with counterfeit designers is that they will advertise that dress in gold with the picture from McDougal's website and be like, get this dress for $50 and then this piece of crap comes in the mail. I would be so upset because they scam you. There's really no way to get your money back. Like, they're not going to refund you. You get this cheap, stiff piece of crap. Like, I don't want to talk so poorly about a dress, guys, but it feels like a bag when I put it on. Like, it's, it feels like... You can just like hear it. So if you guys want to see both dresses in action and you want to hear all the ways to know that you're getting scammed basically by a counterfeit um, retailer, be sure to check out the blog style by McKenz.com. I'm going into full detail um, on that situation and topic over on the blog. So be sure to check that out. And yeah, that's going to be all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed just seeing the difference between two dresses and how to avoid scamming. Be sure to check out the blog, like I said, and I will talk to you guys in my next prom video, which I'm probably going to be doing a like get ready with me too for how I got ready for the shoot, like hair, makeup, spray tan, everything. Until then, see ya.